Battle of the Planetary Eyepieces. Today we're going to look at three eyepieces that are mainly used for planetary viewing. They all have an eye relief of 60 millimeters, 16 to 90 millimeters of eye relief and have a field of view of 60 degrees. They're all multi-coated and are two lens design. We're going to be looking at the TMB 2.5 millimeter and the TMB 3.2 millimeter and the Star Guider ED 3.2 millimeter. We're going to be looking at um, Mars today through these eyepieces and we're going to see which one gives the sharpest and best image so stay tuned. Oh and by the way I'm dedicating this um, video to a gentleman on YouTube called Hertfordshire Allotments Life. He does a lot of YouTube videos that are based on eyepieces and telescopes and he's really good he's a lot more knowledgeable than myself so if you guys want to see more videos like mine but better check out his site because he's really good so Hertfordshire allotment life this is for you i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for the videos that you've been making also they're brilliant i love them okay let's jump straight in with the tmb 3.2 millimeter eyepiece the image you can see is of mars we're not using any filters it's straight through the lens the image is not bad however i had some problems uh, focusing and with the 3.2 millimeter i couldn't get a clear image it might be chromatic aberration i don't know um judge for yourselves you can see the image is not that sharp Okay, next up is the TMB 2.5 millimeter. I found the TMB 2.5 a little better than the 3.5. For some reason, I can actually get a better focus with this one. Chromatic aberration was less also. Judge for yourself, tell me what you think. Okay, it's time for the Star Guider ED 3.2 millimeter eyepiece. Let's see how this one performs. Let's get it into focus. Okay, straight away, this looks a little bit sharper and brighter than the TMB 3.2 millimeter eyepiece. I could see a little bit of glare because the eyepiece is lighter it might be chromatic aberration I don't know but it's definitely a sharper image this eyepiece is almost twice the cost of the TMB mind you so you should um, I don't know weigh that up this was about 47 pound as opposed to 25 pound what the TMB ones are Okay, I think it might be helpful if we put them side by side and maybe compare the images side by side just to get a better idea of which one is performing better because sometimes when I was swapping the eyepieces over the atmosphere was changing a little bit and it might have made a bit of a difference. So let's put the images side by side and see how it looks. Let's begin with the two TMBs. Looking at the image, the 2.5 looks a little bit sharper to me. Um, in the camera you can't really tell, but when I was actually outside looking through the eyepiece with my naked eye, the 2.5 was better focused than the 3.2mm. Looking at the image here, you can't really tell, but the 2.5 definitely is a little bit more 
focusable than the 3.2 millimeter and I do prefer the 2.5 over the 3.2. Definitely a sharper image. Okay, let's compare the two 3.2 millimeter eyepieces. Both similar magnifications, same field of view. Okay, um, looking at these two images, I can see that the Star Guider is brighter than the TMB. You can see a slight bit more of glare but the image looks sharper. It definitely looks a lot sharper when you look through the eyepiece yourself with the naked eye, even though it may not look it on screen to you as you're watching this video. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed my comparison. I hope it's helpful. Um, I'll let you guys decide which one's better. I personally like the 2.5 TMB and the 3.2 Star Guider over the TMB 3.5. But drop me a message, let me know what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of you have more experience than me. I'm only an amateur, so drop me a message, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. I'm looking forward to your replies.